We ran four unannounced evacuation trials in two different high-rise buildings at two different heights. So we collect a mass of data, um, the largest, certainly the largest uh, data set for construction site evacuation um, in the world. Uh, some of the things we wanted to measure was how long it took people to react to the alarm and if they knew um, how to find the way out of the building. Uh, what we found was that about a third of the participants um, knew the exit route and knew how to get out, but about a quarter of the participants had to look for emergency exit signage to help them find the way out. We also found that the longest time it took for people to react to the alarm was about six minutes. Uh, this is in the main part of the building, uh, up to six minutes to react to the alarm. That's an awful lot of time. Uh, and then what we also found is that once people disengaged from their pre-alarm activities, uh, some would begin their evacuation straight away, but others would do other tasks like pack their tools um, or go and talk to other people. So people didn't react immediately to the alarm and that's what delayed the response. And in a high-rise evacuation building, every second counts. Every second can make the difference between life and death. So it's really essential that people react quickly to the alarm.